Hey everyone, welcome to Fix It On The Fly, my name is L10 and today I'm gonna make a cable, a power cable where I can power my D-Link desktop uh, switch using the USB port. Okay, so uh, the story goes like this. When I first bought this, I knew that I'm gonna have to sacrifice one more uh, power socket just to power this thing, okay? But what I didn't know was, uh, when I opened up the package and I took a look at the adapter, what I found was, this thing actually outputs at 5 volts, 1M DC. So I was like, hey, you know what? If it's 5 volts, I could like tap power from the USB port and then power this damn thing. So yeah, you know, I mean, I could just like throw this out, build my own. But of course, I have to get stuff first, alright? So I was lucky to have these things, which I bought off from eBay a while ago. These are actually USB uh, connectors that allows you to actually custom make uh, custom solder wires to it, you see? So it comes with a container like this, and then it's like, you know, all pieced together like that, alright? Yeah. Anyway, so, and I was also extra lucky to actually salvage one of these things. It's actually a barrel jack connect uh, cable, okay? And this was from another power adapter. And this was actually from, uh, I think, a 12 volt power adapter or something. But anyway, uh, that adapter wasn't working, so I salvaged the cable, and I was lucky to keep this all along. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder these two together. Okay, but before that, uh, we have to figure out, like, uh, which uh, ends of these uh, terminals I have to actually solder in order to get the correct power. And also I have to determine, like, on which end of the connector is your positive and negative and how we're gonna do that is to actually look at either this or this but anyway let's throw this out first okay okay so let's start with the desktop switch okay as you can see here the desktop switch seems to have like a marking at the side of the jet barrel jack uh, connector this is a female connector by the way there's actually a marking here you couldn't you won't be able to see uh, let me draw it out it looks something like this Okay, what these symbols mean is that this barrel connector has the outer uh, conductor as a negative and the middle conductor as the positive, okay? And this uh, takes in only 5 volts DC at 1 amp, alright? 5 volt 1 amp DC, okay? So, next, we have to figure out like, uh, okay, how are we going to match this, uh, the polarity of this cable to this thing so we next measure which end of the uh, conductor is your positive and which end is your negative so we know that the inside one is the positive and the outside one is negative so what we do is that we have to go to the multimeter switch it to our continuity mode okay going into this uh, uh, my menu the ohm diode uh, continuity select twice into continuity you can see like a wi-fi symbol here it shows ohms all right and let's grab our uh, probes we probe one end of it. Let's try this one because there's two col two ca colored there's two colors on this cable. One is with a white line and one is purely black. So let's try the white one first. Okay. Nothing. Okay. So we know the white one would be your positive because as I probe from the inside of the barrel jack, it uh, beeps. Okay. So let's confirm that the outer one is your negative. So that's the pure black one. Okay. Okay. All right. It works. So anyway, the code, the surface is a little crusty. So yeah, that isn't an, a big issue. Okay. So we know that our cable is uh, positive from the inside, negative on the outside. White line positive, pure black uh, negative. Okay. Now next next question is, how do we know uh, which end of our terminals is the positive one? I know that the power supply f uh, lines are on both ends. Okay, of the USB uh, connector, but how do you know which polarity is it? We could always look it up in uh, YouTube, uh, sorry, YouTube, anyway, uh, sorry, Wikipedia, alright, but I have this prepared here which is actually connected to my PC, this is supposed to be our power source, 5 volt one. So let's uh, hook this up, alright, don't worry, 5 volt uh, won't give you a shock, you see, touching the terminals, nothing seems to be happening, alright, and next uh, I'm going to probe uh, these two ends of the terminal and see which and is my positive and which end is my negative okay to do that we have to go back to our multimeter switch it to voltmeter mode okay and then make sure that it's in DC mode and you're showing volts here let's grab our probes remember that the red one is positive and the black one is negative so let's probe these two ends two far ends here
okay it shows a uh, negative 5.12 volts okay so i got the polarity the other way around so in order to get like well the correct polarity where this is positive and this is negative we probe we switch the probes and we probe those two ends again there you go you have five volts positive on the right on the far most and negative towards us okay so next we know uh which is the uh, which end we're going to solder this wire to so we know that the white color one has to be on the far end and the red black one should be on the closest end uh, in case we uh, forget we could always mark the key, uh, mark the, uh, the terminal and then it's easier for us to see which end we're getting all right so let's move on to soldering this uh, connector all right let's remove this let's bring out our helping hand hold this up okay as you can see terminals are all nice and clean okay before that um i forgot one more step um first we have to uh, see how long the cable has to be in the connector containers uh, so let's see uh, okay it's a little too long so if i do solder it eventually it will not like uh, fit in all all together so what you're going to do is you're going to cut down the wire a little bit all right i think i'll cut this much and then strip the wire strip the wires insulator using a wire cutter the proper tool you should be using is a wire cutter but uh, sorry wire stripper but in my case i don't have a wire stripper and i'm quite good at actually stripping wires uh, with the wire cutter so here it goes Okay, so I got all this uh, out here. Let's make this neat a little bit. Alright. Okay, so after we uh, strip this, we're gonna like uh, thin the, the ends uh, neatly. Okay, by having to, and by using our soldering iron and solder wire. Alright, so like I usually do, I always like wipe my uh, tip down with some damp cloth or sponge. And then I always uh, wet the tip with some solder okay so next uh, we're gonna uh, apply a solder onto this okay uh, the best way to actually apply solder is to actually uh, dip your con uh, wi copper wires into a vat of like soldering paste soldering paste actually acts as a uh, acts as uh, what you call a cleaning agent to remove uh, oxides from the surface so all I do is just di dip it in and then like uh, try and solder this Okay, you see, it makes uh, soldering easier that way. Or else, without the flux, uh, your your co copper surface will be like will be oxidized, and your solder will not go onto it in the first place. All right. Okay, now it's all nice and silver. Next is to actually mount this onto my helping hand, and then solder this away. All right. Let's see. Alright, if you didn't know, uh, most soldering wire actually comes with uh, solder flux in it, but usually it's not enough, so I always like uh, give it a bit more. So I sometimes uh, dip uh, soldering uh, wires into the flux just to give it uh, better cleaning power, in other words. Yeah. So let's give this a go. Let's thin this first. Alright. Oops. Okay, so here you go. I already thinned the terminals. So next is to actually put this in. Okay, that's one in. And that one in. Okay, so I've got to cut out a little bit of the wire so it doesn't short out uh, anything like that. Okay, so now we got this uh, all prepared. Okay, so let's uh, encase it back. Okay, as you know that uh, this uh, receptacle, if not mistaken, uh, has like holes and like, okay, this protrusion here. Okay, which matches this hole. So I can just like easily slot this in and not worry about uh, putting it the other way around. Alright, here we go. See, all done. And then uh, as usual, 
this you can either like use a uh, hot glue gun and then glue the receptacle together and you can always open it back but what I prefer is just to tape it down with electrical tape I'm kind of lazy by the way <laughs> Okay, there you go. Nice and neat. Alright. So, before we actually hook this up to the desktop uh, desktop switch, the D-Link desktop switch, let me test if, the pow that if there is any uh, power supply coming out from this uh, barrel jack. Hola! 5 volts. Okay, not too bad. Of course, there'll be a bit of a drop because uh, I'm actually uh, hooking up to like a meter cable and an extra like cable here. So yeah. Oh, which is five by one. So yeah, it's fine. Anyway, that done. Moment of truth. Okay, that sucked. Let me just try ho hooking this up to. Oh, okay. It's uh yeah like I said the surface of the jack was a little crusty so yeah it didn't turn on in the first place so now it's back online and then uh, let's see if I can bring my LAN cable in oh okay yeah you can see that the whole light soft flash so actually this worked okay so I made myself a USB cable to uh, barrel jack which will power my dealing desktop switch and I can save one uh, power socket from this and yeah I guess that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you would subscribe. Uh, uh, leave a comment. Like the video. If you do dislike the video, do leave a comment so I can improve on it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Your turn now.